My question is, is I want to know what I want. I'm satisfied and happy and all the time I'm looking towards that which makes me feel better. So I've been feeling this great feeling for a while. I just want to know what I want. I, I, I want to go on that cruise in the South Pacific in October and it's, it's just like, I could spend all my time hanging out with this. In fact, I do. Uh, at home, <laughs> at home, it's uh, in the background all the time. I listen to it all the time, and it you just get a lot. You get a lot. Feels good. You get a lot. <laughs> we're, we're, I'm we're playing with you. We are appreciating that you are liking the vibration of that which is us in the background, mm -hmm. and we want to assure you that. As you sustain a vibration of alignment that what you want just continues to unfold because you must not assume that because you are not necessarily identifying it in detail every moment that it has not been identified in detail in your vortex so if you can accept that it's already been identified and then you just keep staying happy then you sort of know when you see it yeah. Jerry and Esther would walk into a department store or furniture store or some sort of store Esther was dragging Jerry in all the time and then someone would say to them can I help you and Jerry said we're just wanting to find something to want <laughs> because there was not some plan when they went in it was just they knew that they would know it when they saw it and that's sort of what we want you to feel you'll know it when you see it because you have identified it with great specifics and now as you are sustaining that place of feeling good and we believe you when you say it in other words we can feel that then ideas just keep flowing and you know it when you see it yeah. you know it when you see it yeah. you know it when you're living it you see here's the thing oh you're really gonna like this because this is the distinction that you're looking for so often people think that when they are deliberate creators that what that means is that you get what you want and that you get it right now this red-hot minute in other words, I want it thank you I want that thank you I want that thank you and that's nice because a lot of things do come to you in that way but there is a definite vibrational distinction between step one and step three. Step one is sort of aggravated by contrast that causes you to clarify things. And so when you're in a step one moment, and that's the moments that you're in when you're putting so much in your vortex or in your vibrational reality, another name for it, that's not the time that you're going to necessarily be a perfect vibrational match to it in other words the asking mode and the allowing mode or the receptive mode are different frequencies and in your timeline usually different times so sometimes it's as if you think I'm asking right now and I want to receive right now and we say just ask and keep clarifying the asking and start taking satisfaction this is where this new idea of step five comes in take satisfaction from the clarification in the asking start enjoying the asking part more because what happened is you've allowed so much of what you've asked for that now you are really living that step four real-time life experience where almost as soon as you ask it is given almost as soon as you ask it is given almost as soon as you ask it is given so it's time for you to amp up the asking now have you been listening to us for a while and are you aware of the ask and it is given book there are 22 processes in that book and all of those processes are for the purpose of helping you once you have asked what you already have and once you've created this vortex and it's been vibrationally answered and it already has these 22 processes are all designed and developed to bring you into the receptive mode from different places that you might be along the emotional scale so as you allow yourself to get more and more into the receptive mode what happens is what's in your vortex begins to manifest in all of these ways step five is where you are experiencing what you said this steady I'm feeling good all the time but it's where you begin to deliberately 
make statements it's where scripting will really serve you where you begin to put your conscious mind toward the specifics of how you would like something to play out in detail not with the purpose of making something happen but with the purpose of giving yourself pleasure from the descriptive phase and this is the thing that we want you to understand the manifestation is ready to pop and would have popped if you had been as precisely and deliberately in vibrational harmony with those details as you need to be in for in order for them to pop let's say this in another way because we're losing some of you we really want you to hear this do you accept that so much of what you want is already in the vortex it's there and that you are somewhere in proximity to it and that if you were right there it had already be manifesting so if it's not manifesting then you must not be quite right there so you could do something about shoring up your precise vibration to match the precision of what the vortex has spun for you following so far so for example you could begin to say it is my intention that this week I be in an environment where the Sun shines predominantly and the reason that I like being in the place where the Sun shines predominantly telling you Esther's scripting before the Alaskan cruise is because when we are in Tracy's arm I want to see the top of those mountains I want to see deep into all of those valleys I want to see the eagle soaring and the bears creeping I want to see the whales jumping I want to see the vividness of this sea I want to see it and I want everybody with me to see it too now that sounds sort of obnoxious doesn't it sounds sort of like you expect the universe to respond to you as if you are the center of the universe but when you come to understand that life has caused you to create and Esther's been thinking about that cruise for a year she knows you're coming she knows what you're gonna see she knows what it could be she knows it could be foggy she knows that it could be sunny she knows that there are all of these possibilities and she decides how she wants it to be so she scripts it and because she has access to the energy that creates worlds and when one is connected to the energy stream that creates worlds you're more powerful than millions who aren't when somebody does that and focuses you affect circumstances and events there is no condition or situation on this planet that you do not have the power and the creative license to improve in the way that you feel would be most beneficial but you got to hook up with what source feels about it you got to hook up with the energy of source about it and then focus it's our promise to you you won't be bored you're going to begin to feel the clarity with which you get to direct all of the forces of the universe all of the energy that creates worlds there is nothing outside your creative license there is nothing that you cannot be or do or have so sometimes it's as if you don't really understand what you've created and other times it's that what you've created is so magnificent that you can't expect it quite yet your expectation is not stretched far enough and that's where that kind of conversation comes where you just begin to make statements about what you want from your place of clarity not from a place of feeling bad and trying to get there but once you get into that place earlier we were talking with someone about once you're there just leave it right there just leave it right there don't go further just leave it right there this is the best that this is gonna get right now so you want to know where you're at but as we sense where you're at what we're saying to you is take it further take those thoughts and conversations further with yourself shore up your expectation 
expectation is the most powerful condition that you can accomplish because an expectation is a holding of a desire a clear desire and a belief about the same thing at the same time and when you are in an expectant mode tuned into source energy heaven and earth moves to accommodate in detail the things that you have scripted it's fun and others who don't understand will watch in amazement we know you get that.